In this video, I'm gonna show you how to order an Uber or get an Uber ride right from your computer. First things first, I'm gonna go to uber.com. This is gonna pull up and then I'm gonna sign in or I'm gonna create an account if you've not done so yet. If let's say you have the Uber app on your phone and you've already created an account, you can easily use that same account to sign in on a computer. Next thing I'm gonna do is go up to here and click ride. Now, once I do, this is gonna pop up. Should look very similar. Like I said, if you have used Uber before, this is like say Uber right now. And let's say I wanna go from the Santa Monica Pier. So I'm gonna type in Santa Monica Pier, right? And then I'm gonna type in my drop off location. You can see right here, these are the typical drop off locations Uber suggests. I typically use Uber when going out because obviously I wanna be safe and responsible. And also too, if you're ever in LA, these are some of my favorite bars, as you can tell. Brennan's, great like kind of sports bar, Irish bar as well. The Shack has great burgers, very dive bar. June Shine, amazing hard kombucha. Prince of Wales, definition of a huge dive bar. Um, Jameson's Pub, great Irish bar, great whiskey bar. In my opinion, the best cocktail bar in LA. And also one of my favorite bars I've ever run to, Period. So you know what? Let's go to grain. So I'm gonna click grain. Let's say I wanna be safe and responsible. You can see, boom, this pops up. Next thing I'm gonna do is go to pick up now. When I click this, I can, let's say, schedule it in advance if I want. Like, let's say I wanna go there after work. I'm gonna go there today, but not now. I'm gonna go there around, let's say, 5 p.m., right? So I can schedule a ride in advance, very easy, doing this ride online. In addition, I can also click on uh, drop off by. So let's say your friends are like, hey, Let's meet at Grain. Um, let's meet there at six. And let's say you're visiting LA. You don't know the area that well. Well, instead, suppose printing this says now, I can go to drop off by and then click six. You can see right here, they can choose the pickup time up to 30 days in advance. So like I'm visiting LA in two weeks and I'm really trying to plan things out. You can do this, but being honest, I feel like getting an Uber from Santa Monica to Grain pretty easy. You can see extra wait time included to meet your ride. Cancel at no charge up to 60 minutes in advance. So let's say I booked this in the morning and let's say I realized, oh shoot, you know what? I don't think this ride is gonna work. I can always cancel it up to an hour in advance. So let's say I'm gonna order this now. I feel like for most people, let's say if you're ordering an Uber, you typically do it right then and there. I'm then gonna click for me. This is a really cool feature because let's say one of your friends at the bar and they call you and they say, hey, I've lost my phone. I can't find my phone anywhere. I'm calling you from the bar phone or I'm, ca I'm calling you from some guy or girl I just met. Can you get me an Uber? You can click this. This is a cool feature that Uber has where basically it allows you to order an Uber for somebody else. You still pay for it. Just wanna say that, so keep that in mind. You still pay for it, but let's say one of your friends is stranded at the bar, they're by themselves, they lost their phone. You can do this as a cool little feature, do a guest ride and order the Uber for them. But in this case, let's say you're like, hey, I'm just ordering it for myself. All I'm gonna do is then click search. So basically I'm ordering an Uber right now from Santa Monica up here to Green Whiskey Bar right now. Now you're gonna see these prices, right? So I have a bunch of different ride options. The most typical one is Uber X or basically regular Uber. So it comes, picks you up, brings you there, drops you off. I also have Uber XL, so up to six people, lets you have a big group with you. I can do Uber car seat. These are all the different options as well on Uber. I've done videos about a lot of these, whether it's share, where you might share a ride or carpool. <clears throat> you have Comfort Electric. Well, let's say there's newer cars with extra legroom and a, a little bit more features. You have Uber Green, so they're eco-friendly cars. Uber Pet, let's say if you have a dog with you. And then you have the premium options. So let's say you wanna ride to that bar, that venue, that nightclub, that wherever you're going in style, you have black, black SUV and Lux. And as you can imagine, you can see the prices right here. So then once I'm all set to do this, once I'm like, okay, I wanna order this Uber, I'm then gonna go down here. You can see I have my credit card. Obviously this is blacked out for obvious reasons. But when I click this, this is how I add in, let's say a credit card or a payment method. I can also use PayPal and all the different payment ways. If I click add payment method, you can see I have gift card, PayPal, credit card, or debit card. In this case, I have my credit card there. And then all I do in order to order this Uber is click request UberX. Now there are three huge pro tips I gotta give when it comes to ordering an Uber on the computer. One is when it comes to like say picking your address where they pick you up, be as specific as possible. Yes, you can use a feature of saying, hey, use my current location, but I find, I don't know what it is on a computer, it's just not as accurate. On your phone, 
when you're using the Uber app, you almost always say, hey, pick me up right where I am. But I find on the computer, you're better off actually entering in your manual address. So 67 Vanilla Street or whatever it is, enter in your exact address as opposed to like say trusting the computer and the GPS saying, oh, just use my current location. Like I said, you can do that, but it's just not as accurate. Just type in your exact address that you're at. The second thing I will say is typically Uber drivers can see on their end where you're located. This makes it a lot easier for them to say, okay, are they right outside their house? Do they go to the corner? Do they go over here? They can see that. On the computer, typically they can't. So once you order, and let's say you put 67 Vanilla Street, but you'd rather be picked up on the corner, keep in mind whatever address you gave them is exactly where they're gonna go, very similar to ordering a taxi. And this is very common because I know a lot of people, like say when ordering Uber, they get outside their house and they're like, yeah, you know what? I feel like down at that corner is actually being, it's, it's a bit easier to be picked up at, I'm gonna walk there. And then the Uber driver on their app can see, oh, they actually walked to the corner. I'll go to that corner. Not the case with a computer. So whatever address you give them is exactly where they're gonna show up. And lastly, but definitely not least, number three, once you order the Uber, at some point, it will give you the make, model, and license plate of the car. Now, typically, you'll be able to match that up on the app. You go outside, you're holding your phone, you're like, okay, I'm looking for a red Toyota Prius with this license plate and my driver's name is Tom, right? And that way you can kind of match it up, make sure you're getting in the right vehicle. As you can imagine with a computer, you typically don't have your phone on you, right? I'm assuming you don't because you're ordering this on a computer. So I do suggest try to memorize it. If let's say worst comes to worst, maybe write it down. Um, okay, red Toyota Prius, here's the license plate. My driver's name is Tom. You have that in your, like say your pocket. That way when you go outside and you're waiting, you can obviously track it as well on the computer in case you didn't know. You can easily track where your Uber is. Let's say it's getting close. You then leave your house. You stand outside of it, because remember they're going right to the address they gave you. You have that note, although it looks a bit old school, right? You have that note just to make sure you're getting in the right Uber. You double check with your Uber driver to make sure you're getting in the right Uber and then you're good to go.